creating sprite for 2D game could be time consuming, especially if you plan to draw each animation pose by pose. You can use uh, some moving and rotating options in Photoshop or in Illustrator and speed up the process, but you can also use 3D Studio Max or any 3D software to speed up the process. So here is a very simple 2D character that has been divided to many separate parts. I don't need all the pieces, so what I need is torso, head, arm and leg. Next, I'll export this as PNG format, so I can make additional adjustment in Photoshop and divide the image into separate pieces. As you can see, I took all the pieces and separate them, apply black background and created opacity map for each piece of my character. Now I use this image as my reference in 3D Studio Max where I will create basic shape for each body part by using simple planes. So I create the plane same size as the image and under object properties I'll turn off frozen in grey option. And now I can apply my references to the plane. So select the shader, click the fuse, click OK and navigate to the image. Next apply your references to the plane and make it visible. Now create simple plane divided as needed and create basic shape for each body part. Again think where your character will bend. Spend extra time on knees and elbows. When you finish modeling each piece, unwrap UVs. So later you can apply your textures. You may need to make adjustment to your UV map. It all depends on your character. After you finish modeling your body pieces, create separate shader for each body part. Shader should include diffuse map and opacity map. Then apply each shader to each body part. After you finish with the shaders, reposition body part to match the original design. And now duplicate arm and the leg. So select and hit shift, drag and copy. For next part you can use bone or biped. I'm using biped because I have some biped animation ready. So click drag, create biped and make all the adjustments necessary so it fits your character. When you finish it should look like this. Of course you may have more body parts. So now you are ready to apply skin. You can attach all the body parts together or you can add skin to each individual piece. So select each piece, apply skin modifier and add proper bonds that correspond to specific body part. Please remember to adjust envelopes so the body parts follows the biped bone. As you can see here I need to attach mesh to the neck. Repeat this process for every body part. When you're happy with your skin, you can start animating your character by selecting and moving parts. Or you can apply ready animation using motion capture or your previous pipette animation files. Now when you're happy with your animation, you need to render the whole cycle. To do that, we need to create a new camera. I'm using physical camera because I do not want to set up separate light system for my character. Under camera adjustment you will find several properties that you can make adjustment to. Please see attach file if you wanna use the same settings as I did. Next choose one of the views and open your camera view. Before you start rendering adjust position of the camera so the whole character fits especially when you creating complicated animation such as jump where the vertical position of the character changes a lot. 
please remember to hide biped or your bones before you start rendering. Next, go to Rendering Settings, choose frames that you want to render as well as dimensions and save your file. Choose directory as well as type of the file format. I'll go with PNG, name the file and click Save button. And click OK again and now you can render. And here you have all your file. By using this technique you creating faster and more realistic 2D animation for your game. Thank you and good luck.